What's going on everyone? Welcome back to part two of modifying the Grom. If you haven't seen it, check out part one where I did the swing arm bushes and the chain adjusters. Definitely, I could already feel the difference just by bouncing on the uh, seat itself with the swing arm. Feels like the uh, rear shock is definitely too hard now, so I might have to set that up. Not until I ride it and get a feel for it first. And so much more easier now that I've got the uh, spools on there too. So draining it will be a lot more easier for me in terms of just uh, general maintenance. Uh, so anyway, so today I'm gonna be draining the oil, changing the filter, which doesn't really need to be done, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Draining the catch can. I really wanted to, but I can't. I wanted to fit the uh, um, Takagawa cam chain tensioner, but I don't have the special tools that was on, that's on me. Should have ordered the firewheel puller and the uh, holder when I ordered all this stuff from Steady. That's my bad, but oh well. That could be next time when I do more stuff. Plus I'm gonna be fitting the Kitako Fibro Cooler and the Chimera or Chimera uh, pod filter kit. So I'm gonna start by taking off the bearings and uh, then I'll drain out the oil. All that milkiness from the catch can, well that's just all the excess oil and the moisture that it sucks up through all the breather and stuff and I think that's all caused by the open air filter and stuff so I think I should still have this same problem again when I do the pod filter still but this is why you have a catch can to separate that with that side of the oil because as you can see that milkiness wasn't in the actual engine crankcase oil it was only from the catch can oil Well, that's annoying. The filter that I, I ordered is my screw up that uh, is too big for the Kotako clutch cover. So the HF131 did not work. And I read it up online, it was like one of the numbers that was coming up. I'm gonna take this one with me now and hopefully I can exchange it. Try, hopefully I can find the correct oil filter because I can't find it through, like I called up Peter Stevens and stuff like that. They can't even get me a part number. Yeah, I'm gonna head down, try to swap these oil filters over. Oh, what a bit of a rush around that was. So, went down to Straight Falls to see what kind of filters that they had in stock. Nothing, couldn't find anything for the, uh, for the Grom, because I'm running the Kitako clutch cover. Which then I went to Star Cycles and I caught up Peter Stevens and stuff. Didn't have much luck with Peter Stevens. Uh, Star Cycles, we were there for like 25 minutes just trying to figure out oil filter, part number and stuff. But we ended up, after that, we ended up finding out that um, one of the Honda filters will fit so I've got that on order I'm not too fussed about using that one straight away but in the meantime I, I can still use my original filter I've only done like less than 500 K's it's not gonna harm it if the new filter comes in then I'll end up using that if not oh well now the good stuff I'm gonna block up this drain um, move the oil out of the way block up the catch can as well which I've already cleaned out um, I could probably put the filter and stuff back in. I might leave it out for the time being, but not really too fast. And now I'm gonna take off this air box and I'm gonna fit the Chimera or Chimera intake. There's probably plenty of info on this on how to do it and stuff, which I'm not really gonna do, but don't forget to take out the sensor. Um, and you're putting the sensor into the uh, new intake pipe. But what I've noticed is there's a lot of dirt in this pipe, which I'm gonna break clean out of here. But I've noticed a couple little dags that are in here too that I'm gonna try to die grind out a little bit as best I can. So if you have a look, well, at least in there, it's a little bit more cleaner. I was able to grind out the top side. I was able to grind out some of the um, dags that are at the top side there. And right where that weld is, at the very back there, where the uh, breather hose is, um, there was like a nice big dag there, which I was able to get out too. Last thing I need is that to go through my engine. Um, clean them up as best I can. And at least there's like no debris in there. There was actually like, as soon as you put your finger in there, like my finger came out black, like from all the debris from when they would have cut the pipe out and stuff that they wouldn't have cleaned up. Just double check yours before you install it. I bet you I still can get some out, like no joke. Prime example. And that's after I've brake cleaned it. So I'm gonna brake clean it a little bit more.
So yeah, just trimmed it down by what happened the off cut. <laughs> I literally lost the off cut. I had to chop out from using it from the stock airbox to this little intake kit now. So I ended up getting I think it was a Superflow or whatever it was. So just the five row oil cooler, all the little bits and pieces which I have to go through. I got a rough idea on how it all fits, but yeah, just to make sure. So it's all mounted up, looking sweet as. Uh, and now I just got to run the hoses across from the cooler to the clutch cover. I've decided to route my oil line a little bit differently to what I see online. So that furthest one there, I usually see people cutting it cross straight at the front of the motor. I've actually routed mine behind the intake and then looping it down to this side. I don't know, it just seems to be a bit cleaner and it's just, they both kind of run parallel then to the, like, running back. You get to keep the fittings nice and straight. All I gotta do now is put some oil in, put the fairings on. So, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, this will be the end for part two. Um, looks like I'll be making a part three just because this took longer than I expected it to as well as with the vlogging and stuff like that uh, but I'm still also waiting for the uh, Brady brake line so that's gonna be in part three so be sure to hit that like and subscribe that way you get the notification for part three on the Brady brake lines um, hopefully I get them in a couple days and I'll fit them on bleed the brakes and I get to test ride this thing when I go for the test ride that's when I'll be doing the photos and whatnot too till then see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and be sure to leave a like and a comment see you